25-year-old Paloma Mayorga is suing her neighbor, Elisa Ceballos, for damage to her car windshield after a potted plant fell from her balcony. Ms. Mayorga, you and the defendant live in the same building complex. That's correct, ma'am. And you have assigned parking spaces. Yes. Ms. Ceballos lives on the second floor. Yes. And has a balcony. Correct. And on her balcony, she's got a lot of potted plants. I assume you have a green thumb. You like to play with your plants? I do. Oh, good. How many do you have on your balcony? I have five. Tell me what kind of plants you have. I have a fern. I have two cucumbers. I have a wild flower. And I have a jalapeno. So you have some vegetable plants. Yes. And one floral. Yes. And they're in different kinds of pots. Yes. Do you repot them when you buy them, or do you use the pots that you get from the nursery or grocery store? Some from the grocery, and some are, one of them's terracotta, or two of them are terracotta. One is terracotta, most of them are plastic, the yes. kind that you get back from the yes. grocery store. Okay, and you parked your car in your assigned parking space. You come out one day. The day was? It was September 11th, I know, because 9 I 9-11 just... of this year. Yes, of this year. And your windshield was broken? Yes. And when you parked it, your windshield wasn't broken? No. When you park your car, do you park it nose first into the parking space? That's correct. So either a person had to purposefully come around with an object and bash in your windshield, because mm. they wouldn't have gotten it from, it wasn't a back windshield, no, it, it was it, the front. The risk, impact risk. came directly from above. Well, you're not sure of that because you weren't there. I but am sure you'll of that. Look, either somebody had to do it purposely with an object or something fell on it. Yes, I believe something fell on it. I don't care what you believe. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for a long time. Okay? okay? I'm not your enemy yet. So your windshield was broken. The way your car was parked, either somebody had to purposefully come and break your windshield or something fell on it. That's correct. Correct. Right. And you looked up and you saw your windshield and directly above you are Miss Sabalis's pepper plants and cucumber plants and floral plants and they're on her balcony. Yeah, a variety of potted items that you can clearly see. Okay. Now, is there a railing around her balcony? Uh, there is a railing around the balcony. Do you have a photograph of it to I show do. me? I I'd do. like to take a look at it so I can visualize exactly One what it second. is. Thank you. Oh, Ms. Sabalos, this is actually pretty stupid. That is this your balcony? That is my balcony. Well, why would you put a plant precariously on the ledge? They need sun, and well, that's... Well, that's, that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's where they were. That's, what do you mean, that's where they were? As you know, as... somebody once said, your dogs are barking all night long, and they said, that's what dogs do, they bark. Well, then put them inside. What do you mean they need sun? So that's what? why I put it in a place where a gust of wind can knock it off and if, actually hurt somebody? If I somebody? may, the same day that this happened to her car, the person right above her car on the balcony right below me had a bicycle and hanging plants. And I've, I've seen it before. Show me a picture. I don't have one because I'm not photographing people's balconies. Well, did you I am. Not? Listen to me. She well, is after... Sh sh listen. Hey, Ms. Sabalos, yes. listen to me very carefully. You're not an unintelligent person. Did she contact you the day that this happened? Listen, she... that's a yes or a no? Yes. Okay, so she contacted you the day that this happened and she came up to you and said, my car was just smashed and she had looked up and you had other plants on your terrace. So now I say to myself, intelligent lady, I went downstairs and I looked where her car was and I see that the neighbor also had hanging plants and other things. You see that phone that you carry around with you like you carry around a heart machine, all right? You'd snap a picture of it. So your answer isn't a smart one to me. Your answer is, look, it could have been the plant of the person above me, below me. Maybe it was a bicycle that fell. Instead of, I don't go around taking pictures of people's if balconies. May, if I may, that person was moving out the same day that happened to her vehicle. Ma'am, I've been walking out that back entrance shh, to get to my car. Shh, shh, shh. The answer is, you don't have a photograph. Not that I don't go around taking pictures of people's balconies. I don't have a photograph. Very good. How much was it to fix your windshield? It cost $259.30 in total to replace. May I see this? May I see that, please? Yes. And then attached are my bank statements to prove that I paid it. Not a good place to put things that can precariously fall off for you, uh, your upstairs neighbor, and your or your downstairs neighbor. 259.30. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Thank yes. you.